Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to WTF. And what in the world? There's money flying everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. We're already starting off on a... On our... <sighs> really? And by the way, every time you print money, inflation goes up. So congratulations, JBL. Congratulations. That, yeah, talk about printing money. Oh my goodness. He doesn't care, though. He doesn't care about anything. Look at him dancing. He thinks it's funny. It's not funny to print money all the time. You need to stop printing money. My name is J.B.L. And I'm here to complain. First of all, did you like all that money that I printed? I'm going to raise your grocery bill. I'm going to raise your utility bills. And I'm going to print as much money as possible so I can make it happen. Another thing I want to mention is this. Did you like all those taunts I did at that 24-7 match? Those were some amazing taunts, weren't they? I was the center of attention, as I should always be. And the GM needs to understand this. I know I got in trouble for it, but there's nothing else he's going to do about it because I'm not leaving this ring. I went to the cafeteria today, back in the locker room, and I'm telling you, that has to be the worst lasagna I've ever tasted in my life that I had for lunch. I wouldn't feed that lasagna to my worst enemy, my dog, or even a raccoon on the side of the street. I wouldn't give that lasagna to nobody. That's the worst lasagna I've ever had. And when I walk into the cafeteria, I should be awarded steaks. T-bone steaks. And this GM, he won't let me have my taunts. At the 24-7 match, I got suspended for that. And now, he's forcing me to eat this lasagna instead of cooking me steaks. He needs to talk to his cooks and tell them to cook JBL some steaks. Or I'm going to print more money. And I'm not leaving until I get a response. And hopefully we can deal with this problem. Yes, yes, make them pay, and Respawn is here with manager Brandon. I like that hat, that's a nice hat he's got. And finally he has returned, we haven't seen him usually because of uh, the whole situation with tornado tags, we ha would have had him on here earlier, but uh, we couldn't have him on here because of that, uh, but now he is here. Uh, the manager for Respawn. And here we go. We're going to kick things off. Spawn's going to try to make JBL pay for being here. He's printing way too much money. And the fans are catching money. I mean, the whole point is for them to pay tickets to see us not earn a bunch of money by paying for tickets. That doesn't even make sense. And every time he prints money, the cost of food goes up. It makes food not as worth what it used to be. He's trying to inflate the dollar. That's what he's trying to do. And Spawn going after JBL with the steps. And of course JBL, he also ruined a 24-7 match by doing a bunch of taunts. If you guys don't remember that, I'm sure we'll see some of those taunts here. He's already bleeding. Respawn's had enough.
And look at him. Acting like a zombie. Well, you're going to pay for that. Because you can't... Oh, man. Maybe not. This is two out of three falls. Of course, tonight we have a interesting match. The 24-7 title is going to be surrendered. Um, Devin has agreed to surrender the title. He's going to vacate it. In exchange, um, he's going to get a shot against Ozzy. If he can beat Ozzy, he will be in a triple threat match um, at the pay-per-view for the universal title. If he doesn't beat him, well, he just loses the title and, you know. But in order to do this, he had to get rid of the title. That's the only way he could do it. And that means our big main event is going to be an eight-man match for the 24-7 title. And the crazy thing about it is no subs were welcome. Which is crazy. But there's a reason why. Because they're only allowed to go for the 24-7 title during the pay-per-views. And Spawn gets the first point with that broad kick. And look here. And look at the reversal. Good counter there by JBL. JBL slamming Spawn there. He's trying to get a point. Of course, this all started when he ran his mouth. Threw a bunch of money through, uh, down to the crowd. Didn't throw me any money, by the way. Let, let me remind you of that. And now he's scratching his hair. He must have some... I, he must have some dandruff he's trying to get out of his hair. I don't know what's going on with him. He's been acting very strange lately. And Spawn needs to put him in his place. I think JBL's the reason why my winter fresh gum went from a dollar to a dollar fifty. Because he just threw and now he probably made it two dollars. Now it's two dollars. And I don't know what Brandon's going through. It looks like he's going through a glitch. It happens to the best of us. Don't feel bad. And uh yeah. And look at Spawn here. Here comes the jackhammer, and it has been unleashed, and this may be it. And a kick out there. JBL does not look like he's in good shape here. And Spawn is stalking JBL. And look at JBL. Oh my goodness, what a clothesline. Unexpected. The clothesline from hell. And the kick out there by Spawn.
Oh my goodness, another one. Oh man. He is not playing around tonight and he has a point. Wow. And what is he doing? And oh my goodness, really? He started acting like a zombie again. And Spawn, he got a little too cocky there and he pays the price. What in the world was he thinking? He was, he was doing good. And yeah, I don't know what's going on with him and his taunts. He's just been acting very strange lately. He came down here, ran his mouth tonight. And yeah, he's just been acting beyond strange. And Respawn wins, so good victory for them. And now we are gonna go to our match as Devin will be, this will be the last time Devin has the 24-7 title. And he's gonna be taking on Ozzy tonight. What in the world? Why is Adam Pierce here? Oh, that's right. He's training to be a better manager. That's what it is. I should have knew better. So Adam Pierce is here to, you know, he's trying to learn from great managers so he can start making great shows instead of the shows he has been making lately. And of course, uh, doing the clowns with him. That's not Vince, if you were wondering. That's not Vince. Uh, so, and it looks like Devin is coming. So if Devin wins, Devin's got to forfeit the title no matter what. But if, uh, because this is not a 24-7 match, that will actually be the main event tonight. But if Devin wins, why is Bad Bunny here? If, if he wins, he gets to be in a triple threat match. It's going to be Plum, Devin, Ozzy. So... And Michael Elvis is here as well. So I don't know why. I guess they're doing a record together. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I don't care. I absolutely do not care anymore. I've seen enough to know enough. This is two out of three falls. And of course the GM versus one of his own friends. And if Devin can pull this off, if, if the GM can pull this off, the GM agreed to this. And the champion's fine with this. However, if we do a triple threat match, um, it is going to be uh, elimination. So no lucky pins, no lucky submissions. Um, and Michael Elvis is chatting with a fan. He needs to stop chatting with fans. Fans are freaked out. They don't want to get stabbed by or hit with his guitar. What, what, is, what is he talking to with the fans? I mean, everyone is acting weird tonight. And we're not even at the 24-7 match. So I, I, I don't even know what's going to happen there. I know a bunch of people that really do nothing on here are going to be in that match. So we're going to have some eyeballs. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a warning. Probably going to have a couple normal people. No subs will be in that match. So. It's going to be odd. Oh my goodness. Devin with the stomp out of nowhere. And Ozzy with the kick out.
And oh man, Devin going after Ozzy's leg. And maybe he's going to eventually go for a submission on the leg. Adam Pierce is trying to train. This is called manager training. Sometimes we invite managers. You know, they'll go see, like, Styles or uh, Ozzy or Mentally and, and uh, learn from the best. So that way we don't have to watch boring shows that we have been watching lately. And Adam Pierce, he's observing. And look at the roll up. Nice roll up there by Ozzy. And not even a two on that one. The uh, Shovel Stone stores, they recently reopened. Um, they were closed for a little while. After the defeat at, at the War Games match, they got closed, and now they're back. So I don't know if when we're going to see Billy next, but um, yeah, he's not done yet. And look, and not even a two again. Oh, and a nice counter there by Ozzy. And Ozzy, uh-oh, look at the strikes here. Look at Devin. Good move there. And not even a point though. He didn't get a point out of it. I can't wait to see some of the contenders at the 24-7. Now it's going to be an eight-man match. So I, I was told we were only going to see four entrances. And then the rest of the, the other four are going to be a halfway normal. So... It's the four entrances that I'm excited for, or unexcited for. And the Bandit. Nobody has scored a point yet. And of course he has to surrender his 24-7 belt tonight.
And Devin, he's got a point. So all he needs is one more. Oh, and a good, a good escape there by um, Ozzy, and a kick out there by Devin. And oh my goodness. A good kick there by Ozzy. He's going to try to tie this up and no luck there. Devin has one point. The GM has none and Adam Pierce is going crazy. I don't know why. He needs to be really paying attention so he can come up with better ideas. Oh, look at this. Didn't work. A power bomb there by Devin. And a kick out there again by the GM. Here comes the GM. This is way too far. Oh, man. And what is Adam Pierce doing? He's just going crazy over there. And the GM does get the kick in. Didn't get the high flying move in. And another kick out. Wow. That's what happens when you do a lot of paperwork. You may miss a high flying move every once in a while. It happens. Uh-oh. Devin giving Adam's a, a Adam a thumbs down. And Devin, can he seal the deal here? And he does. So it will be a triple threat match. So this is going to be really interesting. He loses the 24-7 title. He has vacated it officially. And we will be going to that match next for the main event. Adam Pierce is yelling at some fans, it looks like. And who's all going to be in this match is the question. Let's see. Uh, we got Hook. We got Big Baby. We, we Mike Tyson. What in the world? Okay. What in the... What, what is this? We got four entrances. I was told Gandhi was the other guy down at the ring. Sting Elvis? Are we really running out of ideas here? I mean, he looks like he comes from the 80s in the Billy Idol era. Are we really running out of ideas? I mean, Annie's coming out as a zombie. We've done this before. 
The creative, this is terrible creative. I don't know what they're thinking. Let's see who's next. Help us all. Who in the world's this? Pat McAfee is here. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't notice a difference. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I don't want to get in trouble. But Pat, Pat's here. <laughs> Who is next? Oh my goodness. Can this get any worse? Oh, it's not Reggie. Everyone wants to... What in the world? Booker T is Sub-Zero? What? Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Well, at least he can do it better than most of the people that have been doing it. Okay. It looks like Booker T stole a Sub-Zero costume. Sub-Zero is probably in the locker room looking for his attire. And Booker T stole it. Okay, who is number eight? Oh, this can't get any worse. Hey, he's rocking it. I think he rocks it well. Um, but let's see who number eight is. It's not The Undertaker. I already know. It's not The Undertaker. Everyone wants to be The Undertaker. But it's definitely not him. Oh, my goodness. Really? Wait. That's not Undertaker attire, though. Get some lights on. I want to see what he's doing. Oh my goodness, really? Chad Gable as Spawn? You gotta be kidding me here. You're not Spawn. He's also stole a tire. Oh my goodness. They need to stop stealing out of the locker room. They're taking ways with Johnny Gargano. And it's getting out of control here. Well, we got Hook, we got Gandhi. Um, it looks like Hook at least isn't Captain Hook anymore. His, Taz had an intervention with him. He said you cannot be Captain Hook. Um, that, that was a, you know, we didn't cover that storyline, but, um, but yeah, uh, Hook is no longer Captain Hook. And yeah, things have just gotten crazy here. It is an eight-man match. And the winner will win the 24-7 title. Now, a sub can challenge at a pay-per-view. So the winner will get to probably face off with another another weirdo next next time, next episode. Big headbutt there from the baby. And a kick out there. This has already been crazy. Uh, we've, we've had nothing but a crazy night. And it couldn't get crazier. This is elimination. It's elimination. We got Tyson here. He's trying to earn himself a shot. Why not? It's great, great boxer. Probably, probably my favorite boxer of all time. Oh, 
I'm not into the defensive boxing like Floyd and, and the, uh, the Muhammad Ali style. I like the, uh, the I like the whole knock him out first round type. And look at look at Steen Elvis. He's got Booker in the headlock. Good counter there. People continue to ce celebrate Elvis's legacy. Steen does it. Michael Myers does it. You know. Well, of course, that's actually a. You know, that's from a multiverse. It's a multiverse, Myers. If you guys didn't know, it's not the same one. And look at the baby. Everybody's taunting. Nobody is fighting. Why is McAfee and Baby taunting here? And look here. Oh, a double team on Hook. And Tyson is shadow boxing. Why? Just it, it looks like Chad Gable's the only one that's uh, really doing stuff here. Poor Gandhi. He's always getting the short end of the stick. And Gable trying to get the the ref's not even doing his job. Oh my goodness. This is just a disaster. And at least it's an eight man got eight man twenty four seven as your main event. Gandhi, what a, what a dive there. Hits Chad, Chad Gable or Chad Spawn in the back. Yeah, I'm sure Respawn really appreciates him stealing, you know, locker room attire. And, and it's sweaty attire, too. Because I'm assuming Spawn was taking a shower after his match. And Chad Gable snuck in the bathroom and stole his attire. That's what I'm assuming happened. They gotta stop this stuff. They're gonna, you know, you're stealing from Sub Zero, stealing from Spawn. That's some stuff that's gonna get you killed. You need to stop doing it. And look at Hook. The kick out there. I'm trying not to look at McAfee. I'm trying not to. But I'm also wondering at the same time why we had, I, I don't know, 24, we were supposed to have this morning when I came into work, 24 donuts in the locker room. And when I came in, they were all gone. And I assumed maybe all of the Employees here, you know, took one or two and went about their way. But I don't think that happened. Let's just say that. Because I saw McAfee last week and he didn't look like that. So my guess is that he may have gotten a hold of the donuts before us. <laughs> That's my guess. I'm not judging. If he's hungry, he's hungry. But, um, you know, he should save some for us. That's not cool, Pat. It's not cool. And, uh-oh. Wow! 
He ate all those donuts. And he eliminates Mike Tyson. What? That is ridiculous. And another person gone. And another one. Goodness, they're flying out of here fast. 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 Chad Spawn is done. And Hook is going to join him. Look at the baby here, slams Gandhi. And the ref's just hesitating. He needs, I mean, what kind of counting is that? Gandhi could have been eliminated. We are down to four people already, or five people. One of these will one of these superstars will win the 24-7 title. And Booker has been eliminated. McAfee may be joining. And a kick out there. Gandhi can't believe it. Well, I can't. Because, I mean, he eliminated Mike Tyson. I don't know how he did it. Those donuts must be magical. Only on here would that happen. That would never happen anywhere else. Just to remind you all how unique this brand is. Oh man, poor Gandhi. Just cannot catch a break. Now he's trying to get choked out. Four people left in this. And oh my goodness, look at Gandhi here. Throwing the baby around. And a kick out there. Oh my goodness. Going for a pin. And a kick out there by Pat. Pat with the kick out. Oh my goodness. Poor Gandhi, taking so many chair shots. 
I mean, he hasn't had the best luck on this brand. If you think about it, he got MMV. Um, you know, he lost last week. I mean, but look at that. Oh, wow. Imagine if he wins the 24-7. That would be a big game changer for him. He should have already been eliminated, to be honest with you. But the ref can't count. And look here. Steen Elvis is in trouble, but we got another pin going on. And Gandhi eliminates McAfee. And, and now we are down to three. So good job there by Gandhi. And look at the double team here. Gandhi and the baby working together. I mean, look at this ref. He's been drinking Jack Daniels again. He needs to stop drinking. And look at this submission here. Oh, wow. Baby, oh, baby gets right out of it. Oh man, and Gandhi with a nice kick there. Oh my goodness, and Sting in a sleeper hole. Not looking good for Sting. And Sting Elvis gets out of it. There's so many variants of Elvis on here. But it all started with Michael Elvis. And Gandhi, look at this pin. Unreal. Wow. He may, I mean, it's down to two. He's got a shot at this. Oh, man. Instead, he gets a chair shot. One of these two will become the 24-7 champion, and oh no, oh no. That is the last place you want to be. Oh, yeah, it's done. Oh my goodness. So much for Gandhi. Ah, oh, thought he could pull it off tonight. I really did. And it's going to be Steen Elvis. The bad creative, creative is going to win. So, that's unreal. I did not expect that to happen. I thought Big Baby maybe win, maybe Tyson. What an upset. Of course, Gandhi did most of the work on the final few people. And then Steen just finished the job. And I don't know why everyone's on one knee outside. I, I'll, I'll never understand that. But the 24-7 champion. A new one has been crowned. Yeah, what is going on? Um, I, I think it's a poltergeist outside. I, I don't know what it is. There is no explanation for it whatsoever. They went back to the locker room and then they just appeared there. But we have a new 24-7 champ. And everyone, now it is time for our main event promo. And it looks like it's at Wales Clash at the Castle. And here comes Billy Stone. Finally, we're seeing him again. It's been a while. And it looks like he's meeting up with somebody. 
Oh, man. And he's not doing it on WTF property. So that must be he's doing this in secrecy, but yet we can see him. And who is he meeting up with is the question. What in the world is this? Oh my goodness, that dragon. That ZQ. Who in the world is this guy? What in the world? Who in the world is ZQ? Is that another random CAW? Oh my goodness, these people have got to stop. Who in the world is ZQ? Hello, Mr. Stone. My name is ZQ. And you had a conversation with my father over the phone over the prices of shovels. Your shovels are extremely expensive. And my family does not have the money. However, we do have... The army. And here's the deal. At Clash at the Castle, you bring us the shovels that we need because we cannot afford them. And we will take the whole brand. Your sales will no longer decline. Your sales will increase. You need to cause a disruption. So my suggestion is you take on the Pixar party at Clash at the Castle. So we can do our part of the job. And management, there'll be no match for my family. My family is the toughest family of all time. We just don't have money. And we need money. And we can't make money unless we have shovels. So, at Clash at the Castle, WTF will fill the wrath of my family. You And your sales will be skyrocketed. They will be through the roof. And my family will take power as they likely deserve to have. So, Clash at the Castle, we're taking back what belongs to us, Billy. <laughs>